wrote in the book, which I think is the most telling, is if you look at the top performers over the last decade, the top 25% of managers that have uh, uh, outperformed came up with the best record for the last 10 years. 97%, uh, okay, 97% of those top managers uh, spent at least three years in the bottom half of performance. 79% spent at least three years in the bottom quartile of performance. And uh, almost half, 47%, spent at least three years in the bottom 10% of performance. So you know all their investors left if they did that. But these are the ones who ended up with the best long-term record. Most people leave them. Most people don't stick around uh, for long enough. Uh, one other thing I write up was the top, uh, in the decade of the 2000s, you know, that 10-year period, the top performing mutual fund was up 18% a year. Uh, the average investor in that fund lost 11% a year. That was the best one. Uh, why is that? It's because every time the fund uh, underperformed, people left. Every time the market went down, people left. Every time it outperformed, people piled in right after the outperformance. Right after the market went up, people piled in. So with all the investors' market decision, the average investor, the you know, average dollar-weighted investor in that fund over the last decade, the best fund, ended up losing 11% a year.